But I'm, I'm not one of them. I, you know, just plain and simple. Uh, I got too much respect for veterans to try to claim something that I'm not. I mean, yeah, I did three years in the Guard, loved it, it was great. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not a veteran. Well, technically you are, but there's there, a lot of you out there, you know, comment and, and argue. Sh <laughs> shout, out, shout out to uh, Batlash underscore PH, which is all capitalized, right? The B in the, in the PH is capitalized. Yeah, the, the B in Batlash is capitalized, and it's un underscore, underscore and a capital PH. Capital PH. Um, um, he's got... Like you said, uh, 58. I think it's 58. Yeah. Guess how many? Guess how many this is? I don't know. Yeah. We're still in the first one. This is uh, um, 198. Well, you got a bunch. By the way, I'm 99. Um, He's my 99 subscriber. 99 subscriber. So, so <laughs> now when uh, when BT comes in, I gotta call him Shiner. And now when uh, Jim comes in. He's, he's 99, Agent yeah. 99. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As in Maxwell Smart. But, um... So anyway, back to the question. Anyways, yeah, the, um... Your turn, you get to shoot one at uh, me. Okay. Um, let's see, how... how wh where do you... Are, are you planning on retiring in the Philippines? Uh, or, or are you ever planning on bringing, bringing your wife here? Um, we've we've talked about this. Um, she used to be all gung ho about coming here, but uh, she's changed her mind. I before she was gung ho to come here because she was talking to her friends, you know, and everybody's everybody's got that American dream. And then now that two of her friends are here, one is uh, her cousin, and uh, we'll we'll go on that. Uh, what we'll reiterate on that later? That's uh, Daniel Daniel Perez. That's my cousin-in-law now. Uh, <clears throat> he's also married to a Filipino curse, and um, she she I, I think she grew older and changed her mind. She wanted to go to Qatar, but I I, I, I didn't want her to go. So I made I made a deal with her. But uh, we I do want to bring her back here to visit. Um, we're talking about six months, six months here, six months there, which, uh, Dan, matter of fact, talking about Dan, Dan says he can help me get her a, a green card here, which, uh, uh, we all worried about the financial status of Claude. With the, with the new changes? Yeah, with the new yeah. changes. But... That's for all. This goes for people that are like me, that Social Security disability and veterans disability make, uh, makes you exempt from that race. That's what Dan was telling. Yeah. Because he's also uh, uh, he's still working, but he's uh, he, he's got veteran disability, a, a, a veteran disability claim right now. But um, but he was telling me his lawyer told him he don't have to worry about that. Just, but you got to get all the paperwork done and the wait time done, the cinema, that stack of paperwork to get married in the Philippines. They're, all those got married in the Philippines is not what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I, I uh, got married in the Philippines and yeah, it, it, uh, a lot of paperwork, it takes a while. Um, I don't see her, I don't see her coming here and staying so good because uh, number one, we already got we already got plans and we got the materials already ready to work on her her dream. Her dream was for mom and papa to have a have a decent domicile, you know. So um, I already already sent it, uh, enough money for the materials. Which when we got the project done, I'll go down to you know the prices so other people can. You know, know what I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's going to be a uh, one story. Um, I believe it's going to be 50 by 50, three three bedrooms. And I told her we got to have an inside inside CR for mom and pop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because her mother her mother has a 
for a rectal cancer, so she's going to need an injury <laughs> sure. because it's no fun. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I just call, I always call out prayers for her. You know, I don't ever think of myself, uh, but I'm really concerned about my mother-in-law. I mean, they say she has it, so. And she's got to go get the surgery or the chemo. Uh, and, not a big fan of chemo. And most likely she's going to have to have a colostomy bag for about six six months to a year. Because, you know, it's got all, all, all healed up down there. Right. But um, um, she just got out of the hospital. So, so you got, you're, you're real, real happy with your in laws. Oh, I love my in-laws. Because, I, I, you know, I've heard other 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 guys that have had, you know, issues with, with in-laws and whatnot. I'm very fortunate, very blessed. Um, my, my wife's family are, are super good people. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, on a majority, on a majority of the, the families in the Philippines, uh, uh, you go there and meet them out of respect, and you're not a jerk. I'm being nice now. Mm -hmm. Right, you're not overbearing and you're not verbally abusive, and you, you watch your p's and q's, and and you are a mild mannered kind of person. You'll be accepted in the family, no problem. Well, bottom line is, as long, you know, the main thing is you gotta you gotta be treating their daughter with respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, as long as you know, as long as you're not abusing them, that that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's another thing. This was going to be a question, but I think this is a, a mutual agreement between uh, uh, Jim and I, and that's uh, it, and that's is we hear stories, horror stories about the Philippines, but you know what? On the other side, in the Philippines, they hear horror stories about America and Americans. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you got you got that ten percent. You really do. You got that ten percent that are, are bad people. I mean, every country. I mean, where you go? Yeah. Yeah. In uh, Australia, they were having a there, there was a problem uh, in the '90s where they had a rash of uh, uh, domestic domestic abuse and uh, domestic violence mm -hmm. with uh, Australians that were taking their Filipino home. To their home country, they'd be out in the middle of nowhere, and and sooner or later, the the wife's reaching out for uh, for help. You know, he beat me. You know, so you know you get those stories, and then uh, believe me, the husband a husband can be can go to the Philippines and be abused too. You know what I mean? Oh sure. It can happen on both sides. I got an itch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this country itch are, Oh, it ain't working. <laughs> I'm not that flexible, but um, yeah, and, and um, I guess it's my turn to ask you a question, right? Shoot, I try to give you a a wide answer on that, sure. because um, but now life isn't a short answer. Down, just to keep it layman's, keep it short. I mean, for an answer, is um, it looks like I'm going to be living there because uh, mainly because of the financial status I have I have to still look into that before I tell everybody oh yeah you're exempt but uh, my uh, cousin-in-law says you know it's true so but uh, you know how that is got to check it out first it might have been different when he did it because uh, uh, him and his wife and married four years Four years, something like that. Four. When, when the when the subject first came up, Tom Tom did videos on it, and so I kind of did a, you know quick research, and I, I think your cousin's right. I, I think there is an exemption for military. If, well, that, uh, I know there's at, uh, I know in the new the one that's going to be approved on uh, the 15th, and it comes up for by the way it comes up for review on the 30th. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and that review is supposed to go. They're reviewing state to state, what state to state wants, which uh, I don't know how that's going to work. You know, you bring your, like Georgia. You know, you bring your wife 
the Georgia right. and 